Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. This is a different kind of tarot reading. It's not dependent on your sign or element. If you are guided to this reading, you'll know if it is meant for you. And I'd really appreciate it if you would like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this new, different kind of tarot reading. Hello everyone, welcome to the next installment of Soul for Repair. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. Welcome. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to, uh, to let you know that if you're interested in the other Soul for Repair readings that we've done, I have a playlist available on my channel. Under the Soul for Repair playlist, you'll find all the other readings that we've done that are in this style. So please check those out if you haven't already. Okay, let's take a look. You know, the energy that I feel, I feel it's around you. We have from the uh, Oracle of Shadows and Light here, two cards that jumped out at the same time, so I took them both. Firstly, the card of Sea Storm talks about being the calm in amongst the storm. So I do feel that the energy around you is somewhat chaotic or turbulent right now. And it's a time of great transformation and change, but you're needing to trust, trust your inner wisdom and guidance in moving through this chaotic change in your life. Now around you, we have Faceless Ghosts and the Haunted Girl. It's a little bit troubling, I have to say, because what I get around this is that there may be someone, or it could even be more than one person here, that is perhaps seeing you in your moment of weakness here. And it, it's giving them some kind of opportunity here. But it, it's, it seems like you may be in need of help and people are seeing you in need of help at the moment. But uh, this person in particular is coming in, but they have some, an agenda. They have an agenda. Now this person could be acting like an expert, but uh, what I get around them is that this person may not have a fully formed identity. You know, you see the faceless ghosts here. They too easily take on the beliefs and ideas of someone more powerful than themselves. So you may be a little bit alarmed here when faced with this person. It would be best for you to keep your own counsel and remain detached around this individual or this group of people. Yeah, I, I get a, like an energy vampire, you know, taking on the energy of others around them. Mm, so we'll see where that goes. But uh, Richard has pulled from the energy oracle the card of victory and it's in the reverse. Now the victory card reverse signals a delay or reversal in a hoped for outcome, whether it's in personal change or external achievement. A success may have been eluding you for some time, but don't despair. Okay. So that might be part of why the energy around you is a bit chaotic, and this could just be a, a reflection of that. Yeah, so let's take a look. We'll be doing a, a horseshoe spread here. I'm gonna cut the cards. And we'll focus in, firstly, on the past energy, the present energy, the near future, your advice or your best path to follow. What is happening in your environment that may be affecting the current circumstance? We'll also take a look at your hopes and fears, the potential outcome and your overall energy or what this reading is about here. Okay, I'm going to lay down the same cards over here. We've got the past, we've got the present, We've got the future, we've got advice, we've got the environment, hopes and fears, the outcome, and overall energy of this reading. Okay, right in the center here, lovely, the Ace of Swords, that breakthrough moment where you cut through the, the chaos and see clearly. I love it. I think it's brilliant. You know, I think that you've recently come to some kind of epiphany a realization of the truth okay so looking here at the overall energy we've got the page of wands well, it's about making uh, finding finding a new passion or a new love mm. a lot of kind of youthful kind of new, yeah. playful energy mm. but in the past 
Oh, I should mention that either side can resonate as you and possibly could resonate as uh, both sides as you as well. So uh, keep that in mind. But in the past here, we've got the Queen of Cups. Now, I do feel that that's your energy. You have been quite a, a, a someone here who has been a very loving, caring, nurturing type of individual. You may be a mother. So I get I get empathic energy from that. Very empathic, uh, very intuitive. So here, I do feel that there's an enormous amount of change around you at present, but you're not. I, I don't think that you're losing sight of this energy. I still think it's within you. So it, it although there's a lot of chaos, stor storms around you, difficulties, a lot of change. You're still this empathic person. You're still someone who's been through a lot emotionally. I think I'm speaking to someone here who may even have, uh, you know, you may have children. And so there's a sense here of, uh, you may even be a water sign, but I feel it's more an energy around this of a caring, compassionate individual and, and someone who isn't afraid to be that, uh, to wear your heart on, on your sleeve type of person. Yeah, when you look at faceless ghosts and the haunted girl, and you look at these ghost people here, mm. they love to feed off empaths. Yes, you're right. Okay, so looking over here at the past energy, we have the King of Pentacles. So that's a good energy of stability, of being able to stand on one's own two feet, being a, a good business person, having all your finances and all your stuff together. Mm. Let's see what the current energy is here. Here's that King of Pentacles. So it seems to me to be someone around you. Could potentially be an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, or just someone who is, you feel has achieved in life. They seem to be stable. They seem to have it all together. They probably work for a living here and have attained quite a high level of success in their chosen field. They're usually someone here who is a very uh, in intelligent individual and comes across as very grounded and seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah, so we're looking here in the present energy on this side. We have the Hermit. That's an energy of quiet contemplation, of sitting down and really thinking about what what's gone on really analyzing and trying to grow as a person let's see the near future we've got the page of swords so there is news coming here communication of some kind so it it seems like there's messages here and uh, messages that may be delivered in a little bit of a, a cold way or a, a, a brutal way. But nevertheless, it is the truth. So I, I get the sense here that there's a delivering of some kind of communication, perhaps to this individual, to this King of Pentacles, but we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a look. Okay, so looking over here at the near future, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. It's about making peace, ending conflict. Let's have a look and see what the advice is or your best path to follow. The Five of Swords in reverse. So it's not about creating drama or causing conflict with this person. It's about finding an amicable, peaceful, resolution. It seems to me like the other person doesn't want to fight with you. I don't think you want to fight with this person either. But there's been some kind of, I, I picked this up here, I think there's been some kind of disagreement. Perhaps you've had words. There has been some animosity in the past, I think. Yes. With this five of swords in the, in the reverse here. Yeah, I think there's been words said. It, it's kind of very similar energy to this five of wands in the reverse, I mm. think, about making peace, yeah. not wanting to cause conflict. Yeah. So it's not about making things worse. Instead, it's about finding that peaceful resolution to 
I pick it up as something that was quite, whatever was said was done in a hurtful way. And it may have even been meant to hurt, you know, that, that's, the, that's the thing with the Five of Swords. It's very harsh, brutal energy. And I do pick up this swords is coming from you. So I think that whatever was said to this other person was in a very harsh, very, very cold way. But it was the truth, the truth. Okay, so looking over here at advice or best path to follow. We've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So coming out of a, a time of anxiety, I kind of got that energy here with the, the Hermit. And that's what the Hermit is really all about. It's about re releasing one's anxiety or what's causing you not to be able to sleep at night. Mm. And being able to put that into some sort of context that allows you to be not that anymore. Mm. Let's take a look and see what's happening around you in your environment. So there is happiness here, there's contentment. You seem to be either have that around you or you're searching for it. So I feel like um, there, there is an energy of being in a good place emotionally. So it may be because you're here and you're feeling happy, it, it may offer up some kind of opportunity here to for somebody to get something off their chest why do i feel that this is, is an energy here of two people needing to have a an adult conversation over without hurt without trying to hurt each other i think that there's been difficulties in the past i see this as the sword of truth Somebody, I feel that it, that it's you is the one that needs to come forward here and, and offer up the truth, if you will, in a way that is coming from a place that isn't going to upset this other individual in terms of trying to keep the happiness, trying to maintain everyone's in a positive way rather than make them angry or make them feel bad mm. so yeah a, a sense of win-win a win-win yes here, right? yes yeah yeah okay so looking down here at the environment we have the ace of cups in the reverse which speaks to unrequited love mm. i believe mm. and the environment yeah i'd like to see these other two cards before i say more about that okay Let's take a look at the hopes and fears. Got the two of wands. You know, I think that you just want to move on from this. You want to move on. You want to say your peace. You don't want to hurt anybody. And you know, it's, it is what it is, I think is what you're saying to yourself. And, and you, you, you're really just looking towards the future and what it may bring. So it's like I get an energy here of I almost get it like a, a no hard feelings kind of thing. Like mm. I, I'm not picking up any animosity. Right. Well, I see a lot of truth. It's nice energy. But but nothing here that's that's telling me that that anyone wants to be wants to be harsh towards each other, which mm. is good. Mm. Okay. So looking over here at hopes and fears, we've got the nine of cups mm. as a, as a as a hope. It's about wishes fulfilled. Yeah, you know, there seems to be something that you're wanting. I think this person may want something from this person, potentially, or vice versa. So it, it seems to be about finding out the truth, communication, but done in a way that doesn't make things worse. Hmm. Let's have a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Knight of Wands, so yeah, there is some kind of movement here a message uh, I get a lot of communication happening but it, it's it's what I pick up is that this communication it has to be done in a way that is forceful and direct and clear so this person doesn't get any any false idea of the situation but it also has to be done in a way that is uh, that doesn't cause a problem 
Diplomatically. Diplomatic. Mm. Because I think you just want to deal with this person and move on. Hmm. Is what I'm getting. Right. So looking here at the outcome, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Earth sign energy here. Yeah. But yeah, this is about being able to move on. Being able to move on and being yeah. to being able to put the hard work in, mm. being able to to move forward uh, in a in a healthy fashion. So it, the the way that I'm seeing all of this here is we have somebody over there who needs to get something off their chest, so to speak. Needs to needs to come clean about something. So that this person here can move on. Move on. Yeah, I get the messages coming back because I get the page here as a message, communication. Yeah, I'm getting this person as somebody who let this person go. Yeah. This person still feels some unrequited love. Unrequited love, yeah. Uh, for this person over here. And they're looking to they're looking to alleviate alleviate some of that. Mm. Mm. It's caused a bit of anxiety in the past. Caused a lot of inner contemplation mm. about the meaning of all of this as well. Yeah, and I think that it, on this side of the table it is about speaking your truth it is about being very clear and direct with this person so basically they can move on and let, let you can live lives separately I, I do like the page of wands here though yeah as the overall energy because what what it tells me is a new beginning a new beginning as this feeling gets fixed up yeah but the only way that this feeling gets fixed up is if this person can come forward with some sort of direct but diplomatic communication that will without allow... Without making it worse. Without making it worse. That will allow yeah. this person to to move on. Mm. Mm. And, you know, it's it's not... I get the sense that you're on their mind because this is in the past mm. and then now there, there you are. Yeah, I think I think that this person was feeling very stable in the past yes. something's happened and now there's it's caused that quite that that reflection that need to find out the truth to seek it's the seeking of wisdom shall we say so now it seems that this person is reaching out i think it's to this individual for the truth now this person has the truth they have the ability to to speak their truth but the problem is that I see that it has to be done in such a manner as to be very clear very very clear so as this person doesn't get the wrong idea but in doing so it, it's like being cruel to be kind is what I kind of get with this it's that moment of cruelty of saying well you know, actually you know it is this but it's doing so, so it doesn't... Doesn't cause more harm. Doesn't cause more harm. You know, it's that very fine line where you, you, you feel like you need to be very clear with someone and set your boundaries, shall we say. But at the same time, you know that you need, that this person needs something from you. And I, I do feel that there is movement here related to that, related to that. But yeah, it, it's just treading that fine line in the communication. And we'll go into this in part two. There's a lot more to say when it comes to how you can do this without everything kind of blowing up in your face. Because remember, you want to be, you want to be the calm in amongst the chaos. You want to be, keep things on an even keel around this person I feel and this is the message I'm getting from spirit how how best to move on from this how to best to shall we say excise this from your life and do it in a way that is calm and doesn't create chaos and allows this person peace and peace yeah so we'll see where this goes in part two you know I did get this card which speaks about some I think someone's been covert there's been someone here who has been covert. It's possibly, I think, it's on this side of the table because of these uh, 
it's this person that's seeking answers from this person so that's why I think that it's more of a covert energy on this side so we'll, we'll see where that one goes as well I hope that you join us in part two the link will be below in the descriptions box and that will be on the the Vimeo channel if you don't join us there then we wish you all the very best don't forget to check out the rest of the soulful repairs that are available on my channel in the playlist and also if you'd like a, a personal reading you can email gypsyinsights at gmail.com so wishing you the best here guys and we will see you soon for another soulful repair thank you all good luck <laughs>